45分発快速大船行きです次は浜松町に停まります Alright, so we're here on the Tokyo Station platforms and、uh, I'm gonna wait for the Keihin Tohoku line which will take us towards、uh, where we're going towards the、uh, Shinagawa. That leave from this platform are so complicated they have to put lines here on the bottom. They're color coded. So it tells you what lines are going. Let's see how long I have to wait before I have to cross because sometimes at this、uh, crossing it takes a little while. As we crossed, the gates come back down, so not too much time to cross over. But we're on the other side, which is good because if I go to my left, over there is the old Tokaido Road. Alright, so this is the old Tokaido Road, Shinago at Juku. As you can see, there's a nice little nostalgic charm to it. Narrow roads, and we're gonna walk down in this direction for a little bit.
while the old Tokaido continues in that direction, we're actually going to make a right turn here and go this way to Shimbamba Station to continue to take the train towards the south. That was a fun little part of the old Tokaido that we walked down from Kita Shinagua to the last intersection. Narrow roads and everybody either walking or bicycling or making deliveries doing their rounds for the day. Okay, we've exited uh, the line at the Kawasaki Station, Kita Kawasaki Station. And a block over takes us to Q Tokaido, back on the old Tokaido. What we're going to do is we're going to turn towards the north and head towards the um, a museum dedicated to the Tokaido Road on Kawasaki Chuku. Okay, I figured I'd take a break here just on the train platform at Nanamugi to catch up with you guys. Uh, the Kawasaki Shoryukan was very wonderful. Um, the only thing they had in English, unfortunately, was English pamphlets and some English signs, but that was it. Um, they tried to explain to me at the museum, in, in best they could, um, about life in the old uh, Tokaido and the area and whatnot. Uh, it was very fascinating. They had a wonderful diorama. Um, they had several floors in the museum, and the museum is free. Um, but um, I was only allowed to take photos on the first floor, so I couldn't take photos on the upstairs floors. But um, very interesting to see. It's a bit out of the way from Keiko Kawasaki Station, and I would recommend you check it out. All right, that chime you hear at Nanamugi here tells us that a train's about to pass through at speed, so let's see if we can get it. And that's how a train passes. Um, my lunch in Kawasaki was a salmon sandwich. There's another train. It was a salmon sandwich and an iced cafe latte, which was uh, pretty tasty. Um, and now I'm heading over to Ofuna, where I'm hoping to visit the um, Ofuna Cannon, the big um, cannon statue, before I uh, probably at that point will turn back towards Tokyo uh, for my evening engagement. Alright, we've made it to Ofuna, and this is the entrance to Ofuna Kanonji, a big cannon statue up at the top of this hill. So a funny thing happened when I got off at Ofuna Station. Um, there's this big hoopla going on. And there is a uh, campaign at the station for people to be aware of and report phone scams. And so two of the mascots, I think, of Ofuna were um, there and people were taking pictures. So I thought, why don't I get a photo on my own? <laughs> So that was a cool thing to try and uh, that will be probably one of the photos I keep for a while. Alright, wow it's pretty steep up here. So we'll see what the Kanonji looks like up close.
All right, this is Kanonji Temple. And can't see it very well in the trees, but uh, up there is the big cannon statue, which we're going to take a look at. Thank you. 